Well, we got a pivot loader brought in today that we're gonna be working on. It's a random no start. We think it's a teeth on the flywheel. So we're gonna get the starter off and bar the motor over and see what we think. All right, we'll see how this does now. Better, but still not. Itself out. Let's see if we can get it to uh, go now. Nope, needs barred a little more. Again. Well, we got it fired up. It's definitely got a issue with the starter or the uh, flywheel one, but uh, we got it fired up. So once we get it unloaded here, here this afternoon, we'll get a chance. We'll mess with the uh, pulling the starter off and take a look at it and see what's going on with it. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, we're getting it pulled back down behind the shop, so it's easier for us to get to the work on it and everything. This thing's massive. All right, we're getting the motor barred over here, so hopefully it'll catch on some teeth on the flat or on the starter. So I'm gonna climb up there and hook the battery back up and see if we can get this thing to crank and fire up. Bar it over again. Again. That wasn't me, it's all noid stuck. I said the solenoid had stuck. Yep. That feeling that solenoid sticking is what ate the teeth off the flywheel. Because the, the starter's trying to stay engaged while it's running and it's just eating teeth off. Try it. Sounds closer. Still nothing. There's like one good spot on there that you gotta catch. Ready? That was closer. Okay. 
Can you tap on the solenoid? All right, hang on. It's not wanting to. Can you wiggle the wires on it? Can you wiggle the wires on the solenoid? I'm not making a good enough connection. Or the solenoid finally just tuckered out. I'll get a jumper wire and we'll see if we can jump it from down there get this thing all right up. we've spent uh, probably three hours today trying to get this pivot loader to start the flywheel there's no teeth left on the flywheel at all so i'm gonna actually make a makeshift pony motor for it so i can get it started so i can get it in the shop i just need to start it one more time just to get it in the shop so we can pull the motor out of it and replace the flywheel but we're supposed to be getting snow the next couple of days and it's supposed to be real cold and nasty and I need to get this thing done. But I really don't want to work on it and get sick out in the cold. I can't, can't afford to be getting sick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a deal that will sit right here and cradle the edge and it'll be hinged where the motor sits. So when I get my belt drive, I'll take a real small pulley on a, like a Predator motor and take one of these belts off or find a longer belt that's a V-belt drive and run it from the crank over. And then it'll have a pipe on it so I can pull tension against it with it running at full bore and it should be able to crank the motor over enough. A lot of old equipment used to have pony motors to start them, but we're gonna try to do that here just so I can get fired up and in the shop since the flywheel's gone. So I'll get this made up and we'll see how this goes.